We're gonna check that guy. It's gonna be a ground to ground voltage drop test to look at your green trace signal. In the edits on that last test, you guys are gonna notice that battery voltage dropped pretty low on the crank. And the reason for that is the battery's very weak to begin with. And then the other thing that happened is you heard that the engine stop, it was like wah. And that was just because we had ignition taking place at the wrong time and that stopped the crankshaft from turning, which made the starter amperage go through the roof, which made voltage drop even further. So you guys might look at that and say, oh, look at that voltage drop. That was from multiple causes. Weak battery, incorrect timing, stopped the crankshaft, raised the amperage on the starter, which is why we saw such low voltage there. It was not a problem. Our voltage is not a problem. Okay, ground voltage test, green trace. Nothing wrong with that ground. 0 0.05, no? You guys might be thinking, well, the circuit wasn't loaded, Danner, because coils never fired. You'd be correct, you'd be correct. But the coils never fired, and my ground voltage stayed at 0 0.05, so what is not my problem? Even though the ground wasn't truly technically loaded. That's right, the ground is fine. If the ground was bad, what would we see in that test right there? We would see the coils trying to be turned on, and ground voltage would have been elevated each time. Didn't see that. Our ground is fine. No reason to pull the ground off and clean it. 